Hi, I'm Andy Mack. I'm here with DJ Kit at Mesa 2012. I'm going to take you through the new MPC Renaissance. We'll have a much deeper in look at what the software capabilities are with the controller. So, as you've probably seen before, you've seen some glimpses on the internet from the NAM show. Um, but what we can do now, we can go through the features a little bit more to give you a much better overview of what's going on. So, as you can see, we start off with the controller. We have the MPC 3000 transport control. We have all our hotkeys, which interact with the software with one touch. We have our F keys, which will work with the LCD screen. Now, as you can see, the screen will represent everything that's going on in the software. So it's, it's moving at the same speed as whatever I'm doing within the screen. So here I'm selecting the sequence and you can see the speed of what everything's moving. There's no delay whatsoever. So let's, uh, let's start off with a sequence and I can go through some of the editing facilities. So I've got a program already inside. So I'll start off with a new sequence, 100 beats per minute. Put it into record mode. So I've got that running now. Now what I could do, I could go to my kick drum and I can now start layering my samples. So I'll go over to my Q-Link and I'll tell the Q-Link what I want it to do. I want it to control my samples. So now it's controlling my samples. I can now access and add some new samples. So I'm gonna add another kick to this. I can then detune it if I want. Or I could add another kick. I've just added like a shaker. I can control the levels. And now I can move over to my filter and I might want to put a filter on everything. So now it's filtering my whole kick drum. Then over on the right hand side here, I can select up to four AU, RTAS or BSC plugins to insert on my pad. But I can do that on every single pad on the MPC. So I could have four on here, I could have two or three, whatever I want on my snet, on my clap virtually limitless so I'll take this clap and I've got a compressor on there already and I'm gonna add a high pass filter which I can just open up here and now I've got control over that parameter all from here so I can access the plugin and control it from here there you go Or I can turn off the plug-in and switch it off. So also what I want to do, I want to, I want to work with some loops. So I could take a loop that I have. I've got a loop here. I'm going to go into my sample edit. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to chop up the loop. Now this feature has only just been implemented. So I've taken my loop. I've chopped it up automatically and I'm going to either chop it by threshold, regions or BPM. So I'll take region, I'll, um, I'll chop it up say 16 times but I want to hear it on my pads. So I hit auto audition. It's now got my sample loop all across my pads. So. Now I can drop that into my beat now. So what I could do is go convert and press slice samples, go back to my main menu, go to a new track and select my slice samples. And add that to the groove. Now, if I want to start adding some keyboard parts now, what I can do is go to another track and come out of my NPC mode and go to plugins. I can now open up any of my VST virtual instruments inside my environment and I can start sequencing them in the main window. So I might want to use a Gladiator or some Sonavox stuff. It's really limitless. But I can sequence everything in my NPC environment. Um, I could turn on my 
MPC vintage mode as well. So my machine now sounds like a 3000. It starts to have more punch at the bottom end. Or I can flip into 60 mode, make it a bit more dirtier on the kicks. Sorry, on the snares around the mid range. So what I'll do now is now I've finished my sequence, I want to finish mixing it in Pro Tools. So I'll go to File, Export, Audio Mix Down, and now I can go to this window and go separate tracks. I want them in 24-bit, 48K, press OK, and it will now bounce down everything for me separately, and I can now go and mix my song. So that's kind of a, a, just a, a basic overview of what's happening with the Renaissance. You know, the software is very, very simple to use. Um, it has all the classic features. It has some amazing new features that nobody else has. The workflow will never need to stop. Um, and it really, it really does give you the, the MPC inside your computer. Um, even if I want to do it, you know, even if I want to sample and edit a sample, I have my visuals on screen, so I can either work with my, my mouse and do it from here, or I can go from my visual and take it from here. And everything's con controlled, like I said, from the, from the Q-Links. Um, I can edit, so if I want to do time stretch, which nobody else has within their controllers, in, in an MPC environment. Um, so this is one feature that um, every user needs. And anybody that can't support this kind of feature um, is really gonna run into a lot of problems. So having the time stretch, it gives the, the user the ability to really manipulate his loops inside the MPC environment.